We obtained this report after an Oasis County prosecutor filed it with the district clerk's office without redacting or sealing. It says Palacios arrived at the railroad station Seafood and Brewing Company at 2 p.m. and stayed until 725. Palacios was there for a company party hosted by her employer, Flatiron Dragados. More than 50 people attended that party just days after it received the go-ahead to resume work on the new Harbor Bridge. Here's what TABC investigators saw from security cameras. Palacios arrived early with a few others to set up for the party in a private area. After an hour, she sits down and is handed her first drink at 3.13. Two minutes later, she has her second drink. At 3.46, Palacios is seen leaving. According to interviews, she left the party to drop a child off at a movie theater and came back to the party. An hour later, she's seen with drink number three at 5.27. Cameras show Palacios walking back to the party area with her fourth drink. 5.44, Palacios picks up a shot from her table. And half an hour later, a co-worker hands her another drink. At 6.41, Palacios is observed with a drink. And at 7 p.m., she takes another shot, making that eight total drinks. At some point, the report says the general manager told a man from the party that they were going to be cut off for their safety. That man didn't like the decision and had the party leave. But a few people stayed behind at the main bar, including Palacios. Palacios took a preliminary breath test following the crash and before being taken to the hospital. The result? 0.223, nearly three times the legal limit. Police obtained a warrant to draw her blood. Two hours later, her blood alcohol registered at 0.154 nearly twice the legal limit. According to the investigation, the railroad seafood employees working the party say they never saw anyone acting intoxicated, but the TABC gave them two violations for serving drinks to an intoxicated person and conduct that led to excessive drinking. A mistake by the Nueces County District Attorney's Office allowed the TABC report to be public record when it shouldn't have been. That error was also made for three murder cases and one capital murder case. I don't know how long it's actually uh, been happening, but we started with the cases that were still open uh, that hadn't been tried. Last week, the DA's office filed emergency motions to seal these documents. That has been loudly proclaimed as a bad thing in this office uh, by a very loud person in this office, me, and uh, hopefully it is rectified. We reached out to Railroad Seafood and asked them to respond to this report. They had no comment. A Flatiron Dragado spokesperson also had no comment, and the attorney representing Palacios did not respond.